All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the OG Spec Milesmatic Sprayer by Obsessed Garage. I'll tell you what, it cost a pretty penny. When I first purchased it, I thought to myself, man, it's got a lot to live up to, and it did, and that's why I want to talk about it with you guys. So without any further delay, let's just jump right into it and take a look. Starting right at the bottom of the sprayer, it has a live built-in swivel. And I'll tell you what, it swivels just as easy with the pressure washer on as when it's off. Now other models that I've played with and tried just don't do that. They bind up. When you try to use the sprayer, you can feel it binding at the very best. And at the worst, they don't move at all unless the pressure washer's off and it's depressurized, which in my opinion renders it useless. This one, when you're spraying, you just don't even feel the hose at all. It just makes it a really good experience. So the, the live swivel on this is phenomenal. It's tucked away up inside the gun, so only a small amount of it's showing. Most of what you're seeing here is the quick disconnect. So it's a clean look too. So the, the live swivel, man, A plus on that. The internals inside the gun. I've seen it taken apart. They're all high quality. They're gonna last for many years. I have no doubt about that. So the quality inside the gun is awesome too. Another one of my favorite parts is the uh, trigger. The trigger is really easy to pull, and then when you get to a certain point, it engages, and I'll tell you what, I can hold this thing with my pinky for an hour without getting tired. And that's saying a lot, because other pressure washer sprayers that I've used, it takes a certain amount of pressure to pull it in, and then you're holding that pressure the entire time. Now, I'm not trying to make something out of nothing. I know that's kind of petty, but between having to hold it with extra pressure and having a swivel that's binding up, Let's, let's just say that the user experience goes down some. Now, uh, every time you save money with a, with a piece of equipment, it comes at a compromise. And I feel like that they're the two areas that the biggest compromise comes from when you uh, save money. But I have to say also, let's move on. The spray gun is made out of a really hard, almost like ballistic type plastic. I'm not sure what that is, but I've had it for six months. There's not a scratch on it. Now, admittedly, I'm not dragging it across the pavement, but uh, man, it still looks brand spanking new. And I, and I like that about it too. We'll move on up. Now we got this Mosmatic um, Quick Disconnect. Now they're also known for those. They work great. They're made out of extremely high grade stainless that'll last forever. And when you pull it off and put it on, there's no question about that it's engaged. It's gonna work for many years to come. And I like that. So, so if you wanna do a switcheroonie, like let's say you're going over to your foam cannon, Boom, on, no problem. Back to your tip. I'll give you a quick tip about the tip. So anytime you engage something like this, whether it be the snow foam gun or the tip, always point it away from your vehicle, pull the trigger, make sure that that thing is fully engaged. Cause man, nothing would be worse than to point this at the car, you pull the trigger and this tip comes off just flying at a thousand PSI straight at the paint. That would be bad news. All right, so let's talk about this nozzle too. This is also a Mosmotic nozzle. I, you know, and it cost a couple extra bucks also, but I feel like there's money well spent here too. It's made out of really high grade uh, metal and it has a nice rubber boot to protect it. If you accidentally touch that on the paint, it's not gonna scratch it. Obviously, I'm not gonna do that on purpose. I'm gonna try my hardest to not get it on the paint, but it's just an added layer of protection. Now let's compare that to a typical tip that we all use for many years. This is an MTM style tip. It's plastic, it's metal on the inside, and I'll tell you what, man, if you hit that on the paint, you're gonna have a ding, dent, or a chip, or something, or if you're lucky, maybe not, but you can just see the difference right there. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You get what you pay for in this area. Now, I personally, think that this is money well spent too. I would definitely go with the rubber protected tip. It looks good, it feels good, it sprays good. I wanna talk about uh, different alternatives though. Now with my system, if you guys haven't seen any of my videos about the pressure washer, I always talk about where I think you can save money and where you shouldn't save money. Now. If you wanna watch those videos, I'll put a link up here and also down in the description, you can find the uh, garage stuff that has the pressure washers in it and it goes all into detail of all these things. But today I'm gonna to talk about the sprayer. There are other models I've used. I've used the MTM. I'll put a link to the model I use down there. It works fine. It, the, you know, the, the swivel's a little bit bindy. It's not that great. The, the trigger system's a little bit, a little less quality. 
Just overall, it's just a less quality gun, but it's an affordable one, and I feel like it's a good option. So here's my opinion. If I had the extra money and I wanted to spend it, I'd get the Mosmatic OG spec, no doubt about it. If I'm gonna try to save money, I'll get the MTM model and go with that route. If I was gonna try to save even more money, I would just stick with the sprayer that came with the pressure washer until I got the money for the other two, or one of the other two. And that's just my opinion. But, so overall, I think it's the best sprayer on the market. If you know of any other sprayer that's nicer than this or compares to this, or just if you wanna share your experience with yours, leave a comment down below, tell me all about it. I'd like to hear about it. I'd like to look into it and check it out and maybe get one in the shop. But for now, if you have any questions about the sprayer or any of this equipment, go watch the other videos if you have any questions. And after that, hit me up and I'll try to answer all of them I can. I'd always enjoy the questions. One thing, if you're not subscribed, man, hit the subscribe button and join the crew, man. We're growing big. We got over a thousand now and growing rapidly and we appreciate every single one of you guys. And always the like button helps too. Anything we can do to get our channel rising up the ladder, man. We're super happy and we're excited that you guys are helping out. We appreciate it. So down in the description will be links to everything I talked about today. So you can go check it out for yourself and see what you think. We appreciate you coming by and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.